Hey everybody, Juan here, and I recently got to tour a home using AT&T's Digital Life. For those of you who weren't aware, AT&T is moving into home security and automation services. And this is Jessica. She's an assistant manager at an AT&T store in California, and she was on hand to walk us around the technological wonder, which is Digital Life. The connected home has been a sci-fi dream for generations, and AT&T is hoping that their implementation entices consumers, not only with its cutting-edge technology, but also its ability to scale and grow. A brain unit is installed, which acts as a hub for a variety of sensors, detectors, and cameras. And thankfully, this system can be installed on top of any existing home security hardware previously installed. And it can be monitored using any internet provider. Say you used to use ADT security and currently use Verizon Fios for broadband. You can still install Digital Life in your home. Once installed, a web browser or apps on your phones and tablets will allow you to control nearly everything connected to Digital Life. Many features will seem familiar. We're all used to the idea of keypads, which set alarms, which can be triggered by motion detectors. We've all seen digital door locks. And we know about programmable thermostats. What I was surprised by was the deep interaction now available between various sensors, cameras, and consumer hardware. Firing up digital life on an iPad gave us detailed and exacting control over almost all of the house's technology. Tapping on a camera window quickly loaded a live video stream from that camera. It's the perfect way to identify if you've got a gaggle of tech bloggers skulking on your front porch. And from your tablet or phone, you can take a still image or initiate a video recording. Depending on what package you pay for, various collections of motion detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, and smoke alarms blanket your home. I was impressed to see water sensors as well. If pipes start leaking, Digital Life is able to alert you and shut off your main line after detecting as little as a quarter inch of water. That's how deep control goes. You have the ability to assign smart connections to electrical outlets, plus you can deactivate appliances when not in use. Are you going to be out of town for a while? Turn off your water heater. When your return flight lands, you can reactivate it from your phone at the airport so you'll have hot water when you arrive home. And while manual control over these elements is terrific, Digital Life also includes the ability to design your own programs around conditional states, alerts, or timed events. If no one's home during the day, you can set your thermostat to be more energy efficient. You can program lights in the house to react to doors being unlocked and you can have the house send certain recipients notifications based on conditions you choose. With smart security plans starting at $39.99 a month, Digital Life seems like an evolutionary step forward compared to what you might receive with other established home security companies, and its technology-forward approach is sure to appeal to gadget-savvy consumers. I really wanted to be cynical about letting Big Blue into my home. I mean, I still chuckle every time I see the AT&T logo turned into the Death Star. But I have to say I was impressed with this demonstration. We've seen each of these technologies individually, but Digital Life looks like it does an admirable job of tying them together in a way that I think will be meaningful to consumers. And not only is the current tech available already formidable, but as homeowners' needs evolve over time, Digital Life looks like it'll be able to grow with them as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video.